Hello friends, welcome to the channel. So we're in need of a small battery tender up in the woods. We have the ATV in the shed, we want to keep the battery charged for the winter. So I went on Amazon, I clicked around, did a little research and I found this uh, right here, of course, made in China. We're going to take it out of the box, we're going to set it up and put it out there in the sun. It's kind of partly sunny today, but we'll see. see if we, I'll put a meter on it, we'll see what kind of voltage we get out of it. Is what you get the panel it's a uh, polycrystalline solar panel I don't know too much about these but we'll learn a little bit together comes with a little charge controller this is supposed to be able to plug into a battery or you could also use a light so that's nice this charge controller is good for 10 amps comes with all the little plugs which is nice this is exactly what we have on the on the ATV just plug the battery and tender right into it and they give you some leads okay the first thing I'm gonna do is just throw this thing in the Sun and put a meter on it this panel without the battery connected to it is putting out over 19 volts 19.69 volts it's pretty impressive I'm happy with that. Battery here. I'm gonna check it with this meter and see where it's at right now before we put the charger on it. It's like 12.42 volts. We might bring this up to the shed. The battery's been sitting in the garage for a long time. came up to 12.58 12.58 okay so it's been about 15 minutes out here in the Sun and the Sun is kind of like not that strong but you could see we're up to 12.63 on the voltage this little charge controller um, is pretty nice actually it's uh, 10 amps the red indicator over here on the LC LED is showing that it's charging then you have the other LED which is the battery and that's telling me that it's at normal voltage and then there's the light controller which is not plugged into anything basically the lights would be on those dip switch switches on the right are so you could set the timer up to 13 hours you could have the light stay on so you would have from one hour to 13 hours you could have the light on depending on the, the time of day what you want to do with this thing it's a polycrystalline solar panel from what I did a little research the mono crystalline is supposedly a better panel but for 60 bucks on Amazon so far I'm happy with it. I think it's going to be perfect to keep our ATV topped off while it's sitting in the shed up in the mountains. Alright, so we're going to try and make some kind of a tree mount system for this panel. I'm hanging out there on the tree right next to the shed. I'm thinking like a 45 degree angle. 45 degree angle should be good. Let's see if we could dig into the scrap pile and find some scraps of wood and make it out of what we have laying around here in the garage.
So today's the day. We're up here in the mountains. I think I have everything I need for this solar setup here on this ATV charger. So let's see if we can't do some kind of a quick, quick and dirty hookup. Take it right up to the shed. We're gonna put the strap this to the tree with these. Where'd you get those straps? These are left over from all our game camps. Oh, that's useful, see? Yeah. Very cool. What do you think is the best angle of the sun there, honey? Well, you know what? Did I bring my phone up? I did. South facing sun. I'm a tree hugger. <laughs> Stop. In what direction? Due south? Due south. So we want to turn that. So see how that is? The white is pointing to the south. So Richie's just going to take this up the tree and, and it angle it to the south. Okay. Got to go almost this way. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Ooh. Oh, no. There's all our goodies. Oopsies. Well, I'm pretty sure you don't need these no, directions, right? A little fit. Okay. Good. All right, so I got all this extra wire. We're going to run this inside the shed. That looks great. Good thing we got all these bugs. Oh my gosh, they're so bad. They're terrible. I got to drill a hole about that size inside of my new shed. Mm, ouch. <laughs> this is monumental. Richie is having a little trouble connecting the solar panel and he's actually reading the directions. I tested it and it worked in the backyard at my house. Don't ask me why it didn't work the first time. 19.3. right now. That's awesome. The sun's going down. That's phenomenal though. Wow. Yeah. Go ahead. What I was having problems with was when I plugged it in, nothing was happening. And you have to wait a little while before it registers on the charge controller. Watch, oh, watch for the light. You just weren't patient enough. Look how long it takes. There it goes. There it is. So how can we know when this battery is fully charged? What is the indication as to when that's... That should turn green. That middle light that's not really lit at all right now will turn green. So then yeah. we'll have one red and two greens yeah. when this battery is fully charged. Yes. And then that'll shut off? And yeah, it will shut off. So it doesn't get overcharged, right? which can be dangerous. Correct? My only concern is that, you know... According to the indication, it's supposed to be a dim red, and it is a very dim red, but you can't really see it so good because the bright green and a bright red next Here, to it. Hold this. Let's see. I have an idea. But it is lit dimly red. I don't know if you could see it. I can see it. Yeah. I totally can see it. So we're going to hope that turns green. Otherwise, this battery's no good, and I'm just going to have to get a battery. Oh, okay. So this is my wire coming in. I just used... Some of these little uh, tie-down clamps that I had laying around the garage, they're a little small for the job, but they worked out. All right, so this thing's been charging for a full day yesterday. Um, we're gonna check it out and see what we got. There's our panel. You know, I left a little slack in the wires so those trees could sway. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, what do you know? We have a green light in the middle. Yesterday it was red, so we know that we got some kind of charge on this battery. Maybe this battery ain't toast just yet. Huh, what's this? How'd that get there? 12.6, we're right at 12.6. OK, 
Okay, so that's pretty much a wrap. It's all done. Uh, the solar system is working. I did try and hook it up with the Squire to the ATV, then I realized that the ATV polarity on the plug coming off the battery is reversed opposite than this, so I didn't have time to switch it around. So we're pretty much done here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And you know, oh. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you on the next video.